Hello everyone. Today I have another thrift and bubble tea shop for you. With this build, I decided to go modern. I also tried out a couple of really cool things, at least in theory, it was cool. You see here, I'm playing with the stairs. My intent was to make the entrance to the staircase or the shop downstairs, which will be the thrift, the thrift store shop and these stairs. And you will see it. It will be that way the entire build. I play tested this before I started decorating the interior and it worked. And then when I uploaded it, saved it, put it into my testing save file, because I like to test how the download works itself as well. Uh, it wouldn't let my sim through the doorway. So that part changes. I'm letting you know that now because it's not reflected in the video, but you may have noticed it in the thumbnail and it will be that way in the final build. Also, there's not much going on, so I figured it was a good spot to uh, point that out. So I thought it would be really cool to have this kind of walkway. And as I said, it worked. I've had it work in other builds where the stairs were narrower. The only thing I can think of is that I changed the stairs that I used to something else and maybe that messed with it. I'm not sure. So yeah, I mean that would explain why it would work you know, originally and then all of a sudden not work. That being said, I tried other stairs, so I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I got it to look pretty cool. I like how it turned out anyway. If you weren't paying attention in the thumbnail, it is just open. It's an open stairway with a wall on the side, so like the window is still there. Uh, yeah, so you still get the vibe. I think it works out pretty well. All right, so as I said, I wanted to go modern with this and I really thought these windows were kind of cool for the thrift store. I changed them later. I don't like them. Eventually, I'm just like, no, no, they're, they're not making me happy. And this build was to make me happy, okay? <laughs> now, that being said, I did try to blend it into the world here. This is the get together world. I have just blanked on the name of it, but Windenburg, isn't that the name of it? Oh, guys, I moved this week. I am recording this. Well, it'd be yesterday as of when you are watching this, if you're watching it the day it comes out and I'm exhausted. This move ended up a little more complicated than I planned on. Not too bad. I just had to do a little more than I anticipated having to do. So I'm tired. I still have to go finish cleaning my old apartment tomorrow. And then it's done because I get to hand over the keys and I'm out. So that being said, I am enjoying my new apartment. It's a little bit cozier. It's the same square footage, but set up a little differently, so it feels a little bit more, you know, cozy. And I like it. I don't need a lot of space. It's more space to clean. And it's just me and my cats. And the less space I have, the less cat hair I have to clean. So anyway, with this, this thrift store, I wanted to create this kind of cool little, like, room where all the... I don't know, new age type things are, I guess if you want to refer to it that way. So that's that center room. I put a lot of stuff from Realm of Magic, the Crystal Creations pack. Yes, this has multiple packs. I just, yeah, 
I'm like I said, I'm going through, if you haven't checked it out already, I have a Townie Refresh series. And in that, or in addition to that series, I will be going through and redoing the worlds a bit and uploading it as a save file. So if you're looking for stuff that is base game plus pack only, it's coming. I'm finishing up Oasis Springs for the townies right now, and then after a summer hiatus, for the series anyway, I will be back with, um, I think maybe get together. I can't remember which one was the next one. As I said, bear with me, I'm tired. <laughs> so anyway, so I wanted to create this thrift store as a really good like thrift store with a bunch of weird random crap in it but i also wanted to make it so you could actually do stuff so there's a couple things <clears throat> and i will say i added a couple of dollhouses thinking it would be a good idea for the kids during playtesting, an adult came in and smashed them. So I'm leaving them in there. You are more than welcome to change those to something else if you don't want to deal with smashed dollhouses. You gotta love it. I wish that you would be able to turn that off on a retail lot. Is there a mod for that? Let me know in the comments if you know of one. Or if you're a modder, make one. The other thing is, I think I got this fixed. When I downloaded this build into my uh, testing save file, this closet area disappeared. Uh, I'm going to test it a couple more times, but if you notice that happening, you download this, you notice it happening, leave a comment below or on the build itself. I do have it saved as a room now, so I can upload that if needed. I think I fixed it. All right, so as you can see, I put a bunch of stuff in here. So we have, you know, the kind of a musician space over there. And of course, more of the celestial stuff I'm playing around with. The clothing, of course, and just a bunch of other like random stuff. So your Sims can come hang out. I know what's gonna happen. It's the Sims. They're gonna go up to the bubble tea shop and then they're gonna come sit on one of these sofas. Okay, that's what's going to happen. I know this. But we know it's going to happen. It's fine. <laughs> it is technically, you know, one building. We'll just say the owners decided that was okay. okay. So anyway, as you can see, kind of filling this little room there, adding in some odds and ends. I don't know why I made these bathrooms down here so big. I believe I only have like a one stall bathroom upstairs, <laughs> but I figured three were enough. I think it was just to fill this space down here because you can only clutter up a thrift store so much before it becomes unusable. Uh, so I didn't want that to happen. I wanted, you know, things to be able to be used and enjoyed. So, the other thing is, of course, you know, the Sims can play these instruments, which is the point. Uh, as I said, it's a thrift store and bubble tea shop. I didn't, I didn't want it to be boring when you're down in the thrift store where, I mean, really it's the clothing racks are the thing you shop. So that's why I put in items you could also do other things with so like you know you can sit and relax on the sofa there's a chess table you can actually use the art easels uh, I thought about putting in like a computer but I didn't I really debated about a research machine from university but I didn't do that either just some ideas for your own if you want to improve upon this one because that's something I thought about Now, the other thing that was kind of funny 
is when I went to save this, I wasn't paying attention to the lot requirements. <laughs> and I didn't have a sofa. Every sofa-like object was not a sofa, it was a love seat. <laughs> so I did take out one of the sofas in the thrift store and added a, or one of the love seats in the thrift store and added a sofa. So that now has the requirement. So, so yeah. The other thing I did with this build is I tried to kind of, like I said, blend it into the neighborhood and create some cool things to do. So you can see these art, you know, the floor art areas that you can use. And I do a few more things toward the end of the build too. I love the get together world but there needs to be more like these areas look so empty and i'll be honest for the the world build i'm doing i will be going through it through it with the tool mod and adding some things because yeah there, there needs to be a little bit more out there so yeah the other thing like i have a mod that'll MC Command Center that will allow me to have more Sims on the lot. And I found that's helpful too, because at least there's more people. If you can't use mods, I'm sorry. My niece plays on PlayStation, so I hear it every once in a while when, when she decides to get on and play. She goes through random random things where she'll play and then she won't play, so. But, yeah, she's actually a YouTuber. She's got a small YouTube channel that she games on. I'll link to that below if you wanna check that out. She's, she's, she's fun. She's a teenager, one. But, yeah, she has fun with it. She's not consistent, though. So anybody who's like, I need something that every Tuesday you're going to post, that's not her. So heads up. All right. So on to this bubble tea shop. I wanted to do something a little different than I normally do, which is put in this booth, have the coffee top shop things, and, you know, go from there. Or the bubble tea shop shelves. And this, this is normally what I do. And I looked at that and went, no, it's not what I want. I want bright, colorful. And so I changed things up a little bit. And I love this. It's just a very like fun, bright, colorful establishment. That's how I'm gonna go with that. I will say, I had fun figuring out flooring, lighting, everything in here. I did cut some of this out, believe it or not. I went through quite a bit of flooring before deciding what I wanted. And I still kept changing it. You can see, I, yeah, I even trimmed this, I promise, there was more. <laughs> So, the other thing is I did go through and put the actual borders around for this tile. I don't think I recorded that. I hope not because that's kind of boring. But I thought this was cute. You have to have the high school pack to, you know, play this anyway in the bubble tea shop. Not that it really matters for this build, but this is a high school year's tile. The other thing is we have the school stage, the tables. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, those tables I get rid of because I'm like, that's a little too much. Um, but I did I did put a lot of seating in here. Uh, I don't know why, because you're only allowed so many in a pack. But it's one of those things where it's like, it just looks weird if you don't have it. Especially with the way this build is designed. Well, you... You have to, you know, fill space because I made it big. I don't know why I did that. I just did. 
right, so the other thing is this wall. I, oh my gosh, the walls up here were just as bad as the floors. I just could not make up my mind as to what I wanted this place to look like. And then I love the windows, but like you have these big, tall, beautiful windows and these tiny, tiny doors. So started playing around a little bit with windows and things here to just, I don't know, create something. I've gotten so used to base game only that I keep going to base game items, so I think that was part of my problem. But I put in these cool windows, and then that just kind of made me put in these other doors. And I kept reminding myself, it's a modern business build. I can put in these doors. But I love these windows because I put these vases in there, and I think it's just, it's just kind of cool. I like it a lot. Again, move objects, the best thing ever, when done correctly. So, you know, the build is still usable. Oh yeah, I forgot I changed those doors again. <laughs> yeah, I went to the outside and realized that I didn't want them to be dark. So, just went down a level on them, not a big deal. I really do wish we had some more multi-level doors. And lamps, we need to be able to sort the lighting, the ceiling lighting by height, because that's annoying. All right, so working on this front a little bit, moving into the uh, outside here. I wanted this to be another light entertainment area. You have the inside that's for your kind of jokes. This is gonna be for your music and I think it turned out pretty cool. I I like it. I think it'll be fun for your Sims to come and hang out at. That being said, I put in a lot more seating and then I wanted to put in some lighting. And I used those fun, I don't know, rope, not rope lights, but the outdoor lights. And you'll see that in a little bit. I had to improvise to make those work because they never end up the right size. It's rare. Anyway, I would love to have those lights as a wall option so I can just build a wall with those lights. Okay. And just, you know, it's a wall. And you'll see what lights I'm talking about eventually. I thought I put them in sooner, so I started talking about them. But you'll see them eventually. I promise. And then here I wanted to add something cool. Um, and this piano just like spoke to me. And then I had to move it from the tables to the seating area. So that was, you know, just a fun little addition. Again, my goal with this was just to make it a very fun, kind of cool place that you can hang out at and enjoy. And as you can see now, I'm playing with all these little lights and I love using these. I just never seem to actually build to them. So I put a fireplace in and the lights hook up to the fireplace. It works, it works. And then I just moved these poles because I could. It wasn't a big deal. So got that to work, which I thought, you know, just kind of created a fun look for the build. I really, really enjoyed how this turned out. And hopefully you guys will download it and enjoy it too. If you are somebody who is maybe more of a casual simmer if you download this and you don't have a pack that is included it will just replace items however you have to have the high school years pack to do the bubble tea and thrift store so if you don't have those this is not the build for you but as i said this summer i'm going to be concentrating on kind of the community spaces for the 
Tony refresh series. I'm not considering it part of that. So I'm going to have a few builds for that and then just some, you know, multi-pack builds. If you have a build you would love to have done for your own use that you don't mind, you know, being shared with everybody, I would love to hear about it in the comments. If you have specific packs that you want used, anything like that, let me know. I have a few ideas for summer builds. I'm still working on my fantasy village. It kind of got put on the side as I was packing and doing all these other things, but I promise that is also going to be coming maybe in August. I will find out when I go back to work next week if I have overtime and that will really decide when some of this stuff is going to be done. But another just kind of heads up, if you haven't heard, I am going down to one video a week starting in June. I'm going to finish up the townies in Oasis Springs, and I think I only have the Landgrant family left after next week. So should timing-wise be correct for June, we'll start one video a week. All right, so we are coming up on the end of the build here. And I have to say, I really did have fun doing this. I did a thrift store shop or build a while ago, and somebody had recommended doing a, a modern thrift shop, and this is it. So if that was you, thank you for the great idea. And I'm gonna let you guys take a look at the and I'll be right back. everyone. I hope you enjoyed this build as much as I enjoyed building it. And don't forget to turn tune in on Tuesday for the next Tony Refresh build. That one is going to be, I think it's Rumi's is the name of the family. It's the, the roommates one in Oasis Springs. All right, you guys have a wonderful day. Bye now.